If you like this video, please go ahead and consider hitting that like button. Subscribe if you have not already, and please, by all means, share this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 Map First Impressions video. Today, we're going to take a look at the Eiffel Terra Life Plus Edition. But before that, this video is brought to you by Chasey Dog and Peter Does Farming. Thank you for being farm barons. So the Eiffel Terra Life Plus map can be found over at the FarmingSimulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Now the Terra Life Plus is a collection of scripts. And these scripts are going to be why basically this is going to be a PC only map. And I do have to tell you that this map and all of its required mods, well, they are going to be consuming a massive amount of disk space. So if you are going to be uploading this to a server, you do need to be a little bit cautious as to how much mod space you have available, because right now with this map, it's required mods and the few mods that I use when I look at maps in general, we are looking at 2.97 gigabytes worth of mod space being utilized. Now let's read you a little bit of the description. Welcome to the Eiffel for Terra Life Plus. This map is part of the Terra Life Plus project and cannot be played without it. The Eiffel, located on Germany's border with Belgium and Luxembourg, is considered a low mountain range with the highest point located at 747 meters near Nuremberg range. Let yourself be enhanced by the hilly landscape, idyllic streams, the scattered forest areas, and the beautiful views. The real life replica demands a little skill from players as you have a hard time finding higher helper friendly fields. This map has 126 farmlands, three farms, four optional farms, one sawmill, four selling points. This map has been set up for the manure system. And in addition, you will not have any issues having your giant's helper drive its way around the map. This map, as is everything else that is a part of the Terra Life Plus project, is going to be benefiting a charity. The charity is going to be a German cancer charity. And I highly, highly recommend that even if Terra Life Plus isn't for you. Honestly, it's not for me. I'm not going to be playing this beyond showing you how it works in a general overview video. That will be coming later to the channel, nor do I have any real interest in playing any of the four maps that has Terra Life Plus built into it at this point. But I highly recommend that you download all the Terra Life Plus mods, as well as the maps that are included with the Terra Life Plus project, because the map authors will get a little bit of money per download. And the map author and the Terra Life Plus project authors in Farming Agency have set up that all proceeds are going to go to this German cancer charity. So by merely downloading this mod, ultimately you're helping this charity out. Now this map does have quite an extensive list of required mods. I do want to point out one of those required mods right here, the Bavarian Farm Pack. That is actually an incorrect entry. You do not need the Bavarian Farm Pack. Instead, you're going to need a different mod, and that is going to be the Bavarian Farm Buildings. So when this list of required mods was picked out, it's not that big of a deal, but basically the wrong Bavarian Farm Mod Pack was listed here. So if you do download the Bavarian Farm Pack, when you do go to load the map up, it's going to say, hey, you need the Bavarian farm buildings. And you'll be like, what? OK, so then you'll download that. But really, you don't need the Bavarian farm pack. I've deleted that out of the mod folder. The map loads fine. Also, do note Terra Life Plus is listed as a required mod. And Terra Life Plus itself has several required mods also. So just be sure that you get all of those required mods downloaded, because I don't know if the game is going to follow mod dependencies through multiple layers of required mods. Now, in addition to all of those required mods, we are going to use the mods we typically use when we look at maps. They are additional field info, additional game settings, animal food or review, field lease, field calculator, precision farming, and straw harvest. 
With respect to Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, you will find if you use either of those game modes with this map, you're gonna find the farms are built out exactly how you see them here in New Farm Mode. With the exception, you do not have any starting machinery, nor do you own any land. In addition, on any map that has been prepared for Terra Life Plus, you will find the Terra Life Plus rotating icon as you see here on the map loading screen. If you try to load this map up without Terra Life Plus, it's not going to work. And if you try to use Terra Life Plus on any map that has not been specifically prepared for it, it is also not going to work. Now, with respect to low end systems, I did load this map up with all of those required mods, including Terra Life Plus on my low end test system, which is using AMD integrated graphics. And I had zero issues whatsoever in maintaining a nice solid 60 FPS. Once again, using my low system graphics settings, which I did publish a video about already in the channel. You can see this is gonna take a little bit of time to load in because as we progress through the map video, you're gonna realize that this map is absolutely loaded with stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. This is, as best as I can tell, a standard size map. If we go ahead and take a look at our farmland screen, see we start out by owning farmland ID 1, which is going to be the main starting farm, as well as farmland ID 74. If we look at our various crops. Well, I would say this map includes all of the standard crops available to us in FS22, but there are quite an extensive change to the crop listings. In fact, we now have four pages worth of crops with the fact that we have the Terra Life Plus mod. So we have summer wheat, winter wheat, summer barley, winter barley, oat, triticale, spelt, winter rye, sorghum, grain corn, silage corn, silage sorghum, vetch, rye, new potatoes, starch potatoes, sugar beet, fodder beet, carrots, fodder carrots, onions, beetroot, parsnips, sunflower, canola, linseed, soybean, white lumpy, lumpine, sorry, alfalfa, clover, clover grass, meadow, hay meadow, grass, horse grass, field grass, herb grass, pasture grass, landscape grass, roadside grass, orchard grass, lawn, oilseed radish, mustard, flower mix, warm season, Cold Season W, I don't know what those are. Mass Pro TR, Beta Mix TR, Infix, Sola Ringel, don't know what any of that is. Landsberger, Germage, don't know what that is. And Poplar. So again, quite the difference from what you might be expecting with respect to a standard farm sim map. Now, the description talked about three farms being built in and four optional farms. So in addition to the main farm, which is gonna be a cow farm located here at Farmland ID1, which you can buy for $123,051 in any alternate game mode. Well, we also have a cow, calf, and BGA at Farmland ID70 that can be bought for $86,248. We also have a cow farm, which is gonna be located here at Farmland ID115 for $10,544. We have another cow farm that is gonna be located here at Farmland ID 108. That is also gonna include a biogas plant that I bought for $78,048. We have a cow, beef, cattle, and BGA available to us at Farmland ID 75. And that is gonna be $73,692. We have another cow farm at Farmland ID 124. And that is going to be $32,692. We have a horse area that is going to be actually tied to Farmland ID 69. And there's also going to be a cow area tied to that farmland over here, as well as a multitude of different farmhouse options. And you can buy that for $201,000. Now, in addition to all of those things, well, we have a multitude of pastures, and these pastures are going to be in various fields. Fields 57, 49, 55, 56, 
44, 65, 64, 73, 69, 74, 75, 70, 60, 61, 62, 63, 54, 71, 72, 58, and 53. So you have quite an extensive option, and all of those pastures are going to be for cattle or cows. Let's go ahead and take a look at our farmland lease screen. This is going to show us all of the viable farmlands, how large those farmlands are, if those farmlands include any field or fields, what is included. And then lastly, how much is that farmland going to cost us? We can then go cross-reference that with our field calculator screen, and this is going to show us the sizes of each particular field. At any point in time, you can pause the screen or slow it down to see specifics on those. We do have a custom soil map, and Precision Farming is actually one of the required mods for the Terra Life Plus mod itself. So let's go ahead and take a look and see how that soil map looks on these fields. Quite a simplistic soil map here. We either have silty clay or loam. There is no sandy loam or loamy sand on this particular map. Now, with respect to our prices screen, you will see that we have quite an extensive list of things that are available for sale and or for production. As far as our crops go, we do indeed have the ability to sell pretty much all of our crops to multiple sell points, as well as various hay crops. Now, when we get down here to some of the animal foods, you'll see we do not have the ability to sell any of these animal foods to other sell points because, well, they're going to be used in our feeding of our animals specifically. We've got milk, hay milk. We also have goat milk, sheep milk as well. We're going to be able to sell those. Multiple variants of straw and multiple variants of total mixed rations. Now it is really difficult to split out what is part of the Terra Farm Terra Life Plus mod and what is a part of this map. Now, we will be doing a overview of the Terra Farm, sorry, Terra Life Plus mod in a later video on a map that has very, very little extra things to it. And hopefully that will help delineate what is Terra Life Plus and what is added to these other specific maps. We do have the ability to buy bulk lime. We also have, for example, compost available. Maize silage, CCM, grain, grist, protein, grist, sunflower, canola, grist, beet pellets, hay pellets. We have apples, apple pulp, fodder, beet cut, sugar beet cut, beet pulp. Then we have BP silage, potato cut, fodder potatoes, potato pulp, potato pup silage, carrot pulp, carrot pulp silage, molasses, brewer's grain. BG silage or brewer's grain silage. And then we've got, oh, it's just a whole long list of various branded things. We have apple juice, apple spread, premium potatoes, sugar beet syrup, eggs. Then we come down here to our base game productions. And then we also have rye bread, spelt breads. I think that's what that's supposed to be. Hay milk butter, goat butter, sheep butter, hay milk cheese, goat cheese, and sheep cheese, amongst all of our other space game productions. Popcorn, starch, malt drink, onion rings, beetroot salad. And then we also have, well, we have lots of different seeds because pretty much every crop has its own unique seed. Now, with respect to our farm production pack, we do not have the ability to sell any of the farm production pack items. We also do not have the ability to sell any of the platinum expansion production items on this map. But if you do have the premium expansion, we do have the ability to sell those. With respect to separated manure, we do not have the ability to sell separated manure. We do have firewood production on this map. And with respect to our hay and straw pellets, well, they were previously listed here in this listing. Now. 
We do not have the ability on this map to sell cakes, clothes, cereal, furniture, or olives. Those are the things that I picked out of this list, which are technically base game items. With respect to our vehicles, shockingly, we start out with a very small list of starting machinery. It is all owned. None of it is leased. With respect to animal areas, well, we start out with a cow barn, a calf hut. We have a stall for beef cows. Another cow barn holds 80 cows. We have a Hessian cow barn for 45, an open cow shed with 15, and a horse barn. Those are all owned at the start. And some of these are going to be on that farmland ID 1 that I mentioned earlier. We do have contracts available on this map. We also have some production that we own at the start. This map has 31 productions built in. And at the start, well, we own the LaPage BGA. We have a firewood processor. And then we have a Hessen farm silo and a steel silo. Now, part of the Terra Life Plus required mods is going to be the production revamp. And as such, our production chains screen here is going to look a little bit different than it typically does. So, for example, the BGA here has parallel production, which means it's going to be able to produce silage, slurry. It's going to basically be able to produce any of these entries. Sorry. Parallel It is not going to affect the production. We could activate all four of these and our production would not slow down. Then we have the firewood processor. This is going to be a serial production. And the fact that if we did have multiple production lines, it would basically all the work would be intermixed together. And when we activate two, we're basically going to get half production out of either because the plant is already going to be at full production. So for example, our, for example, our fermenter silo here is going to be parallel, whereas our steel silo is going to be serial. This map also does not have any collectibles. Now, with respect to our starting fleet, we start out with the Fent Favorite 511C small tractor. We have a top liner 4090H harvester. We have then for the harvester, the 4090H harvester header and the 4090H header trailer. We have the DK-115 trailer. We have the Rave EG-39 cultivator. We have the Nordstein HK-25 NS-3030 cedar and power harrow combination. And you can see quite an extensive list of fill types that are now able to be seeded by this particular seeding combination. And then we wrap it up with a 600 kilogram front weight. Now, as we would expect, there are quite a list of extensive items that are part of the Terra Life plus mod that is a required mod, but there are no custom vehicles or implement specific to this map itself, but specific to Terra Life Plus, well, we have various feeds that we can buy, silage bales, hay bales, straw bales, CCM, fillable pallets, transport boxes, various containers of liquids, horse hay, calf hay, grass, alfalfa, haylage, fodder seeds, grain seeds, grass seeds, legume seeds, oil seeds, seed boxes, universal seed, feed grain seeds, additional feeds, carbo lime, cattle trailers, water trailers, trucks. We have then mobile silos, trailers, as well as various tools and implements to make use of the Terra Life Plus features that are available on this map as well as other maps that are making use of Terra Life Plus. We will make a detailed run through of these in our Terra Life Plus overview video coming a little bit later in the channel. Now, before we jump into the various farm tours of this video segment, I wanted to show you, I've gone ahead and bought all of the viable farm lands. As you can see, we own the entirety of the map at this point. And you can see quite a large number of things popping up now on the PDA that we didn't see prior, like all of these various pastures that I mentioned earlier and the various hots points at these various farms that are scattered around the map. So our starting farm is actually right down the street from our spawn in location. So I thought we'd just kind of take a little stroll down here.
and we'll see what this farm is all about. So here we have our starting farm. Again, it's going to be located at farmland ID 1. We are down here on the PDA. Yes, I misspoke earlier. It's technically farmland ID 74. And the field that we own at the start is field 1. I had mistyped in my notes. So we do have our fermenting silo here. So we have our dump point and our fill point. We have our farm house with our wardrobe trigger and our sleep trigger. Remember, with Terra Life Plus, the game has moved from having 12 months to 48 weeks in a game year. So instead of advancing one month at a time, we are advancing one week at a time. This map has several apple trees and the apple trees are going to be scattered around. We don't really see apple trees in our productions menu, but this is one of the small apple trees. In fact, this map has 13 small apple trees and six big apple trees. We're literally right here on the map border. It doesn't feel too terrible awkward being this low and close to the border itself. We're going to have our milk output for our cows. And now we're going to see our first obvious change with respect to the Terra Life Plus being implemented in this map. We have several different types of each breed of cattle. And each of these are going to have distinctive food requirements. We're going to attempt to run through that in the overview. Again, coming a little bit later. But basically, we have male and female cows. Let's go ahead and pick up one here. Total of 45 in this building. We're going to have our straw point and our feed trough inside of here. Our slurry point and our manure heat. We also have right next to our farm, one of our various pastures. With respect to the pastures being sellable, all of the pastures I attempted to sell, I was fully successful in being able to sell. So if you don't want to use this as a cow area, well, you could just sell the triggers and now you have access to a field. So we have picked the heifer earlier. Let's go ahead and pick the Holstein cow in this one. No, we don't need 20. We just need one. Thank you. And let's go head over to the next farm. So I've made my way down the street just a little bit because we were right here and now we are located right here. And you'll see again that now that we own all of this farmland, we have one, two, three, four, five different farmhouses that are on that farmland ID 1. I'm sorry, farmland ID 69. And we're going to find even more farmhouses scattered around. Right now, we're going to take a look here at farm 70. And farm 70 is going to be for cows, calves, and it's going to have its own BGA. So we have another farmhouse located right here. I think this map would be really good on multiplayer because we do have quite an extensive listing of fields. Lots of room for everyone to expand and grow. Multiple farms and multiple pastures for people to purchase and make use of. And with the added complexity of Terra Life Plus, I'm sure everyone could use the help in one, figuring it out and basically coming up with all of the various fill types and other things that you're going to need in order to keep these animals fed. So let's go and in this one, let's pick a wean, weanling female Holstein in here. It's another one of those pastures. We have our water trough. We have our food trough and everything is right up 
close to where that is. We have two small silage bunkers located here. We have a silo for storing product. We have our milk trigger. Here we have a calf hut. So we have our food there. We have our liquid there. And let's go ahead and get a calf in this one. Seven calves are available to be put inside of there. And then let's go and pick this one. And this is going to be for our large cow area. So let's go ahead and pick a bull for inside of there. 80 cows. And then we have our food and straw here. Because we're basically looking at a base game animal building. We have our slurry point. We have slurry storage. And we have our manure heap. Making our way up the hill, we've got some more vehicle and implement storage. We have a workshop trigger. Three drive through silage bunkers. We have a fuel tank and we have our biogas plant. So we have our output for our digestate. We have our input hopper and our interactive trigger. And then up here on this upper level, which we've kind of already passed, we had one, two, three car garages and then a or three bay garages and then we have a small three bay shed over here now with respect to farms being customizable on all these farms you can pretty much sell everything but on most of these farms there was occasionally something here or there related to a deco element that was not completely sellable i was able to sell pretty much all of the animal pins that i tried to sell and as i've already mentioned earlier all of the animals in the various pastures. Now we're back over on the unbuyable land, farmland ID 69. But we made our way over here to the southwest corner of the map. You see we're on farmland 69. We have several farmhouses down here that we could make use of. And we do have a cow shed down here as well. And that is what we're about to take a look at. So we have a small cow shed here. We have a manure heap for our cow shed and we have a hidden trigger in order to buy our cows get a young bull in here we have our slurry point and inside even though we do not have any icons we do have triggers in here for our food and straw also note we don't actually see for whatever reason the cows popping in this small shed Now we're gonna jump up here to Farmland ID 115, where we have another small cow shed. Very, very similar to the building that we just took a look at. This time we have our manure heap here. We have our slurry point. Again, we have our hidden triggers to buy our cows. 30 cows in here. And then we're gonna have inside of the building, once again, our food and straw. We have our farmhouse with our sleep trigger. And this is actually a cell point. So this is gonna be Peter's Jeff. This is a particular cell point. We have another possible farmhouse right here. And then that down there is where we just were. And if we continue to make our way up the road, well, we have another possible farmhouse right here and another pasture available to us. So let's get a bull half there. 
continue to make our way up the western side of the map. We were at pasture 73. Now we have jumped all the way up here to this particular farm. And that is going to be between pasture at farmland or field 44 and field 45. So here we have the triggers for field 44. And shockingly, even though we have such a large pasture area here in 44, we only have the ability to put 20 cows inside. Yep, we've got a nice large storage building. We do have a small silage bunker here. We have another cow building. Inside. Here we have our food. We're going to have our milk point here. We have our manure heap. Two hundred cows in this building. Along the side of the building, we do have a storage silo, and this storage silo can be configured where we can either have laying hen feed, hay pellets. Chick starter, chicken food, pig meat, gris, grain gris, pig breed feed, sheep feed, lamb starter, mineral feed, breeding mince, breeding something, pig food, back to our pig starter. We another silage bunker located right here. So they are back the back bunkers we have three hay or or bale or pallet storage facilities located right here here and here and i believe all three of these are going to be able to do 250 bales or pallets a piece we have a workshop trigger there and i believe we also very interesting have another workshop activation trigger there and we have our second farm bga there's a total of three biogas plants on this map that's going to be located here so we have an interactive icon we have our dump point for our liquid inputs we have our digester for our solid inputs and then we have our digestate output and here we have a large kind of open silage bunker this is actually set up into one two three four five different silage plates so i guess technically there are five different bunkers run through here so if you do go and dump silage in here you'll likely have to cover them five different times and here we have our steel silo perimeter so we have our dump point and our fill point is going to be around the side right there in our interactive icon our slurry storage and our slurry output for this large cow building and that is going to be this other farm again that is going to be over here at farmland id 115 no sorry 108 this is at farmland id 108 getting my notes a little bit mixed up now we're going to basically jump now. We're going to skip all of these pastures. We're going to jump now over here to farmland ID 75. That's going to have several cow areas. This one's going to be a stall for beef cattle. Our slurry point there. We have our food. We have another storage silo, dump and fill point. We're going to have our fill point there for manure. This 
small silage bunker. Manure heap. This building's gonna hold 80 cows. We're gonna have our trigger icon here for our milk. That's gonna be for a manure heap right there. Of course, our food and straw are gonna be inside. Within our slurry point, we have another EGA here at this farm. So we have our dump point there. And interesting, we're going to be able to back up into here and put it in or use a wheel loader, telehandler, or something. And come down the lower level. We're going to have our digestate output. Here we got another silage. Two pull through silage bunkers. Here we have one, two, three. These are going to be hay and pallet storage. Or not hay and pallet. Bale and pallet storage facilities. And we have our farm silo, so we're dump and fill point. We have a wardrobe trigger and our sleep trigger for this farm. Just down the street from where we just were, we have a small horse farm. Again, that's going to be on that farmland 69. We have a farmhouse. Then we have the horse area. And you see we have several options here again for horses that are tied to the Terra Life Plus mod. And then our feed is going to be inside of here. A couple buildings just for vehicle and implement storage. And now we've made our way a fair bit down the southeast corner of the map. We were right here, right by field 26. And now we're down here in this town. And man, oh man, there is a ton going on. There are several farmhouses down here. There are several pastures in the fields. And then we do have a farm at farmland ID 124. So this is one of the various houses that are, again, tied to farmland ID 69. Across the street, we're going to have a barn that is tied to farmland ID 124. It is going to have bale and pallet storage. Various small and large apple trees denoted by the water icon. Here we have a little indicator where the apples are going to spawn. Again, we're going to have a multitude of pastures down here, farmhouses. And then we have another open cow building. We have our food trough. We're going to have our straw inside of there. Another pasture. Everywhere you look, there's pastures all around down here. And now I have jumped back down here to our original starting farm because we have basically made a full circle of the main farms as well as a few of the various pastures that are here on the map. 
Now I want to take a look at our animal view screen because, well, we do have several pastures. We didn't actually buy an animal in every single pasture, but I don't really think we necessarily need to to get to the point of what's going on here on this map. With Terra Life Plus, we have quite an extensive change with respect to animals and animal feeding. Do not just pull up in here and whip up some TMR and dump it in there because, well, that may not be what your animals need, nor may it be the right TMR mix for their given age range. That's right. Each age range is going to have a different set of food requirements. And that is going to, again, be for the Terra Life Plus overview video. But what we can see here for our young bull, who is 18 months old, but he's going to require base food. And this little help screen is going to be really helpful in helping you understand what is going on here. Base food, roughage protein, roughage structure, moisture feed, roughage energy, and mineral feed. And then the rest of this is 0%. But if we go to our four month old old Wagyu heifer calf, well, now you can see they're going to need calf TMR, calf hay, and calf feed for a four month old old Wagyu heifer calf. For a 10 month old male Holstein, well, we're back to our base food, roughage energy, roughage protein, roughage structure, and mineral feed. For our bull calf at two months old, well, it's going to need mother's milk, milk replacer calf hay and calf feed. For our weaning female at 10 months, we're gonna need our base food, roughage energy, protein, structure, and mineral feed. For our full grown bull at 28 months, base food, roughage structure, roughage energy, roughage protein, moisture feed, cereal, energy cereal mix, concentrated feed, concentrated feed fattening, protein cereal mix, fattening performance feed, and mineral feed are going to be needed for this particular animal. Then we have Holstein heifer calf, two months, mother's milk, milk replacer, calf hay, and calf feed. For a Wagyu cow at 29 months, well, we're going to need pretty much the same mix, I think, as our full grown bull. Wagyu bull calf, four months, calf TMR, calf hay, calf feed. Then we have our weaning, weanling female Holstein, 10 months. Base food, roughage energy, protein stru structure, mineral feed, cereal energy mix is at zero, as is everything else. So you kind of get the point here, right? Don't take anything you previously thought you knew with respect to animals for granted. So Ollie, our horse, it's going to be horse roughage, base food, moisture feed, roughage energy, concentrated feed, mineral feed, and roughage protein. And it would be typically at this point, I would show you the animal food overview. But it's not very useful at this point. I do believe it's going to need an update in order to support the Terra Life Plus animal types. Because right now we just see cow, cow. We have see several entries for cow. But we can see also multiple variants here. We have mother's milk, which is colostrum, uh, or colostrum. Then we have this mix, which is going to require mother's milk, calf feed, and calf hay. And you can see what makes up calf feed and what makes up calf hay. And you can see we can just continue down through this list of various cow food requirements. And you're going to see that basically a lot of these times they are simply repeated multiple times over. And I think they're repeated multiple times over because we have different breeds of cattle. But at least half this list is going to be basically cow food requirements. And then we're finally going to get down here to our other animals. While those other animals are not built into the map, we can, of course, add them. So we have chicken, which is going to require chicken starter food and roughage protein at one age group. Then we've got another age that's going to require the starter food, roughage energy protein and mineral feed. And then we move up to roughage energy protein feed, mineral feed, energy cereal mix, protein cereal mix, and chicken layer feed. And then we move on to a whole different batch. This is going to require chicken fattening feed. 
Then we have our goats, lamb, starter feed, and base food, depending on, the, again, the different age group of these goats, and possibly even the type of goat that we are growing. Again, like animal food overview really needs an update to really help us fully understand what's going on with respect to our feed needs for the Terra Life Plus. Then we move into our sheep. And again, it's going to be broken down just like we have seen with all of the other animals. And it really is a shame that detailed documentation for Terra Life Plus is still about two weeks out. I would like to have seen, in my opinion, them hold on to this before release until the documentation was fully ready. Multiple entries again for our pigs, depending on the different pig type and age of the pigs. And then we're going to close it out with a listing of our horses. And then if we go to show mixture recipes, well, we have standard TMR. We have simple TMR. We have mixed ration for dairy calves. We have mixed ration for dairy cattle from different age groups. We're not seeing the full text here. Then we have mixed ration for hay milk. Mixed ration for hay milk winter. Mixed ration for fattening cows or calves. And these are going to be at different age groups. Mixed ration for bull finishing. Simple mixed ration for fattening. These are all cows. Sheep. Mixed ration for sheep and goat milk. Sheep and goat fattening. Pig food and grain wrists. Now let's take a look at our custom productions that are available on this map. Remember, this map is making use of Terra Life Plus. I've said that many, many times. And production revamp is a part of the Terra Life Plus required mods. And as such, we're going to see things listed a little bit different than you typically would see with respect to your production change screen. First off, if you see two vertical lines, that means that the production is parallel, which means you can activate multiple productions and not see a production output drop off. If you see a Y, that means your production is serial in the fact that if you have multiple production lines, those production lines are going to basically be merged into one line with respect to output. So if you activate bread, you're going to get 100% output. If you activate bread and rye bread, your output is going to be split between those two. Okay, so the more active productions you put on in a serial production, you're still going to output the same amount. It's just going to get, you're going to get less product of each type that you activate. So we have the Big Farm LePage BGA. It's going to make silage, slurry, manure, sherby cut. There's the various production lines. And we have silage, alfalfa silage, maize silage, clover grass silage. Grover silage, field grass silage, meadow silage, herb grass silage, horse grass silage, horse haylage, maize straw silage, pasture grass silage, mixed, mixed silage one, mixed silage two, slurry manure should be cut. All of those are going to go into what you put into this, and this is going to be basically an or, or, so this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or this including this and this and this, okay? Your bakery, well, we got bread, rye bread, spelt breads, I believe, and cake. Now, oddly, as I mentioned, this map does not support selling of cakes without putting something else down. So we have, as far as inputs, flour, rye flour, spelt flour, sugar, milk, hay milk, goat milk, sheep milk, eggs, butter, Hay, milk butter, goat butter, sheep butter, strawberries, grapes, and again, we're going to do our outputs. This video is not going to be a deep rundown through production revamp. I did a long time ago a mod review for production revamp. Now, it's been updated a few times since then, but it will basically give you the gist of that. I want to try to remember to put a little tick mark up here in the upper corner to help you learn about that. But basically, what this says. For our cake, because that's the most complex here at our bakery. 
we're going to need two sugar and two eggs. And we're, then we're going to need either two flour, two rye flour, or two spelt flour. And then we're going to need any of the milks, two regular milks, hay milks, goat milks, or sheep milks. Then we're going to need two of any types of butter, regular butter, goat butter, sheep butter, or haylage butter. Then we're going to need strawberries or grapes. And then we're going to make five cakes. So this is a requirement. This is a requirement. We're going to need one of these, but not all three. One of these, but not all four. One of these, but not all four. And one of these, but not both. We have our BGA. Again, all of these are going to be, we're going to need one of these in order to produce this. Okay. Then we have our other biogas plant. We have our carpentry, fairly standard there. Our dairy is going to be butter, hay milk butter, goat butter, sheep butter, cheese, hay milk, cheese, goat cheese, sheep cheese, or chocolate. And again, we're going to, for chocolate, we're going to require one sugar and one milk or hay milk or goat milk or sheep milk. And then we're going to get our chocolate. Our firewood processor is going to take wood and make firewood. And then we have sugar beet syrup and sugar beet apple. Okay, well, really, it's going to be sugar beet syrup, molasses, or apple spread. So apples and sugar beet are going to make apple spread. Then we have sugar beet syrup is going to be sugar beet. And we're going to get sugar beet syrup and molasses as an output. We have a fermenting silo here, which is going to be grass silage, hay silage, chaff silage, or straw silage. And it's going to be grass conditioned. It's a very specific type of grass, meadow hay, chaff, or wheat straw. We have then a flour mill, which is going to take summer wheat, summer barley, oat, sorghum, winter rye, or spelt. And we're going to get basically flour out of that, either regular flour, rye flour, or spelt flour. We have our sawmill, and then we have our fermenting steel silo. And those are the various productions that are available on the map. On top of the 12, sorry, 13 small apple trees and the six big apple trees. Now I'm back down here at our starting farm. Really, I'm across the street from our starting farm at another farmhouse option. And from here... <laughs> We finally made it to the point where we can just kind of get to the skies and look around this map and look at the various cell points. Are you still with me? Because man, this map has a lot going on, even if it wasn't with the Terra Life Plus mod. And I really wish, hope, I hope dearly that this map comes out in a non Terra Life Plus edition. Because just like with Maze Plus back in FS19, I believe it was, where that had to be built into the map, there were maps that came out that had Maze Plus built in, and they never came out with a non-Maze Plus variant. And Maze Plus isn't for everyone. Terra Life Plus isn't going to be for everyone. And it's a shame. If there isn't a non-Terra Life Plus variant of this, that a good portion of the player base, console players totally, and other players are not going to have the ability to get on this map and play on it in, albeit, a bit more simplified fashion. So here at our starting farm location, we've already talked about this pasture. We've got some fields going over there to the far southeast corner of the map. We have our starting farm here with a few farmhouses, as I've already mentioned, one across the street, one right here, right past the main farm. We have another farmhouse right there, as well as right here. And then we have a farmer's market cell point located right there. Another farmhouse right here on the corner. 
Make our way down the corner. This is our second farm that we took a look at. You will notice there will be fields that do have utility poles in them. These utility poles do have collisions. So your hired helpers will need to work around those as well as your helpers. So this is that second farm that we took a look at. Continue to move kind of down the southern edge of the map over to the west. We can take a look and get kind of an idea of how the land flows here. Now I want to come up here into this forest because there's a couple interesting things going on in here. And if we find just the right spot. And come down in here. We're going to find this. This is a feeding area. Okay, so on the PDA, it's listing as feeding place. And there are lots of feeding places scattered around. Well, these are cell points for, I'm assuming, various roughage, haylage, grass type things. And we're basically feeding our wild animals. We're feeding our deer and other things that are living here in this forest. And I think it's a cool idea, but the fact that they're all listed as feeding place, when you get here into the prices screen and start looking to sell various things, well, you're gonna find that it's gonna be a little bit difficult to figure out, especially if there's a great price differential, basically where you may want to sell various things. So feeding place, look, all these feeding places, they all do have different prices listed here. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. Wonder which one is which. You're going to have to tag it and then try to figure out where things are. So I kind of wish that these were somewhat named, maybe a little bit different. Now this is a nice filter here with respect to, I assume, this is a result of the Care Life Plus mod. So I just wanted to point that out. And here at the road, we do have a water fill point. And we're kind of making our way over here to the third farm area that we demonstrated. It's a very small farm. It's part of that farmland ID 69. There's also several farmhouses down here. We have a grain cell point located right there. A few farmhouses. We've got that small cow area. And then this is going to be the sugar beet syrup production that we talked about. So we have our dump point, we have our interactive point, and then we have our pallet spawn point for our outputs. Now this area is viable land. I'm not really sure what purpose it's going to serve. Farmland ID 125, but it is viable. So I would like to hear your all's thoughts as to what maybe this area's purpose is. This is going to be the next little farm area that we talked about. We talked about this farmhouse, this pasture, and then we moved up the road. But over here we have our sawmill. and our firewood production. We have our interactive icon for our sawmill. We have a biomass heating plant cell point. We have our wood chip fill point for our sawmill. Uh, 
there for a minute. I'm like, how is that cardboard up there on top of that roof? Here we have the large farm that we took a look at during the farm tour with that large pasture. I believe this is field 44. Continuing to make our way up the western side of the map. We got these small forest areas. Creeks, little ponds. Very organic, the way things are flowing here. And then we get up to this portion right here on the absolute fringe of the north western quarter of the map. So up here, we do have a fuel point. We have a cell point for our grain. We're also going to have a buy point for lime as well as other products and a bale cell point. That may have actually been a production. It's so hard to keep all this in my head. Now we have loading station for brewer's grain. There we have our lime, right? Here we have loading station for beet pulp. Feed trader. So that's going to be a cell point, even though it has a production icon. We have our bale cell point. We have our vehicle shop. And then our milk is going to be down the road. That's what I thought. So here we have our vehicle shop. Now, I mentioned at the start, and I had this map and another map mixed up. This map, you do start out with starting machinery in all game modes. Pretty sure. Here we have our trigger. And it's pretty obvious where things... Oh, sorry. Where things are spawning when you buy them. So here we have our dairy. Sorry, it's not a dairy, or mill. I just saw mill and K, and I was just thinking mill. So here we have our grain mill. And a couple apple trees. And now we'll make our way across the northern edge of the map. Now, while we're making our way over here, let's talk about our scoring. We're going to give the map a full point with respect to production being built in or areas set aside for such. We have 31 productions available on this map. A grain mill, sawmill, 13 small apple trees, 6 big apple trees. Then we have a carpentry, a bakery, a dairy, 3 BGAs, a fermenter, a steel silo fermenter, firewood production, and that beet pulp and apple spread production. Over here we have a animal dealer. We're going to be able to buy animals. We have a slurry buy point and then a manure area. And across the street from that, we have that large farm in the northern section of the map. And we have a huge forest. Remember, that is where we had activated that feed trader. But we've got something else over here that I wanted to show you. And that is that we have a... Well, we have a mine. Right down here. And stones are just going to spawn here over time so over here to the far eastern side of the map we have a stone quarry and like i said stones are just going to spawn here over time 
So you used to drive through this forest to get to the stone quarry. And of course, you can do whatever you want with those stones, with whatever production that you may wish to activate. More apple trees are going to be available all over the place. Random farmhouses, again, all over the place. We haven't even started to try to show you where all of those are. Here, just south of Field 33, so we have a cow pasture. We have multiple apple trees. We've got a farmhouse. And we have our carpentry production. And we made our way over here to the extreme eastern portion of the map. And this is going to be a small town where we have just a boatload of possible farmhouses, pastures, as well as productions and sell points. So we have our dairy production point there. Fuel. Biomass heating. Apple trees. We have cow areas. A little cow farm. We have another grain cell point there. We have another pasture. Farmhouses. Bakeries. Just, just... Everything you could possibly imagine. With respect to cell points, base game cell points, productions, animal outputs, well, it's a little difficult because there's so much extra stuff that is a part of this map as a result of Terra Life Plus and the map features itself. But what I did identify is we do not have the ability by default to sell cake, clothes, cereal, furniture, or olives. So we are gonna deduct a quarter of a point there. With respect to the main farm or all of the other farms being customizable. Well, this one's difficult because I will admit I didn't go through and try to literally sell every pasture or everything on every farm. But I did try to sell most of the things on most of the farms. And I did sell successfully probably six to eight different pastures without any difficulty. On the farms I did try to sell things on, including the starting farm, I did run to the random thing here and there that couldn't be sold. For example, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't sell this stack of firewood. I could sell lots of these other deco items that are around as well as the buildings, but that firewood stayed around. So we are going to give the map three quarters of a point with respect to the customization capabilities of the various farm areas. Buildings where appropriately are using the new texturing technique. Indeed, they are. And in fact, ground textures, well, we have a ton, an absolute ton of ground textures. We didn't really run through build mode because there's such a large list of required mods that build mode is just loaded down with mods that are included in that required mods list but what i do want to point out here under landscaping under painting we have several paintable round textures and we also have several paintable plants and several custom trees some of these are part of the map some of them are part of the Terra Life Plus mod. You have the ability to basically paint down fields, stones, and foliage. And then quite an assortment of trees. All of these are tied to Terra Life Plus. And I believe the reason they are tied to Terra Life Plus is because with the Terra Life Plus mod, as I mentioned, we move from having months of the year to weeks of the year. And for simplicity's sake, each month has four weeks. So we go from having 12 months to 48 weeks. And there's going to be several growth stages that are added as well, not only to the crops, but I believe to the trees themselves as they slowly change 
week after week into the next foliage state. So that's going to give you a little bit more realism feel as the map progresses, as opposed to some of the more larger jumps with respect to foliage changing in the base game. So with respect to buildings and textures, we're going to give the map a full point there. And trigger and interactive areas are clearly marked. Well, that's where the map suffers a little bit. We're going to give the map three quarters of a point there. So that wraps this map up with a score of 4.25 out of 5. For everything that is going on with this map, this video, I know, is, is long. And... That is an outstanding score because it's so easy to miss little things here and little things there with respect to being able to sell them and flag them properly in the XML. So it's really not that big of a deal. And honestly, there's so many farm options here. You're probably not going to go wholesale and clear out everything and build out an entire new farm anyway. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comments below with respect to this map, with respect to the fact that it has basically Terra Life Plus built in. Are you going to play this map and work through the requirements for Terra Life Plus? Are you hoping the map author puts out a non Terra Life Plus variant of this map that is more akin to your standard FS22 gameplay? Again, let me know those thoughts down in the comments below. And maybe if the map author stumbles across this video, you'll see your comments and maybe take them to heart if he isn't planning on putting out a non Terra Life Plus variant. And there are a lot of comments that are requesting it. Until next time, happy farming.